Some people say it's not about the destination, but the journey. Here, we have a slightly different view. We say it's not about the destination, but the time it takes you to get there. Today's networks are all about speed and bandwidth, the time it takes for your data to travel through the network. The metro is where it all comes together. The residential broadband, business ethernet, mobile backhaul, and data center connectivity. There's no room for bottlenecks. There's no time for delays. It's that simple. The most critical demands exist in the metro. Yet recently, this space has been overlooked. Check out any trade magazine and the focus is on 100G transport for the long haul. Nearly every day there's a headline in that space. We should know, we've made quite a few ourselves. But in the world of 100 gig transport, one size does not fit all. The metro requires specific focus. The 100G technology today is not made for the metro. It simply has too much horsepower and too high a cost. But that's about to change. Talking to our customers and listening to the market, it is clear that we need 100G specifically designed for the metro. For enterprises that transport increasing amounts of mission-critical data. For carriers that need efficient transport for the metro and regional infrastructure. Look around, there's no solution designed for this. What's changed? This, our 100G metro card. Every aspect of this card has been designed for maximum efficiency. Let's take a closer look. As I mentioned, this card is all about efficiency. It's in every aspect of its design. It's cost efficient. Out of the box, it's competitive with 10 times 10G. Remember, the card's been designed for enterprises who are continuously struggling to reduce network costs and expenditure. It is built for carriers who need to resolve bottlenecks in their infrastructure and suffer from fiber exhaust. The card was built from day one to help you do more with less. It is space efficient. Two slots for 100G capacity. Think about that for a moment. Two slots wide and five rack units high for 100G capacity. We believe this is something to be really excited about. We know your network engineers will agree with us. Not sure? Go and ask them. We'd like to find out what they think. It is power efficient. Fully loaded, it consumes less than 100 watts. It's less than 10 watts per 10 gigabit service. Less than a watt per gigabit. I continue to be amazed by these figures. As energy prices continue to rise, it is critical that carriers and enterprises find ways to reduce operating expense. This is no longer a nice to have. It is a business imperative. You need to reduce costs? This card is your first step. It's spectrally efficient. You can plug in the card today and you will get two and a half times better spectral efficiency than with existing 10 times 10G solutions. This may sound small, but the impact is huge. Let me put it in another way. You can increase the capacity of your existing infrastructure by 250% using that one card. These are four huge efficiencies. Cost, space, power, and spectrum. Four building blocks to achieving significant change. Our team has been working hard on this card, and to see it come to market is incredible. We knew when we started developing this card that one size does not fit all. And if we wanted to see 100G throughout the network, we had to build something truly special. The network can only be what we make it, and that's something we're working on every day. Remember the journey we were talking about? Well, it's getting faster by the second. You may need to hold on.